Okay, so here are the top 10 ways to overcome those 10 challenges that you will face and take action. Alright, so fitness. Remember, we said people do not want to start an exercise program because they do not have a fitness level. They first want to get a fitness level. This is complete and utter nonsense, guys. Many people have started a program with basically zero fitness level and have heavy chronic medication. They were never physically fit or strong enough for any exercise program in fact. But they learned how to get fit based on a burning desire to actually get results. Or the doctor actually told them, hey man, you got to start a fitness program. Number two, no time challenge. This is definitely a challenge for some. I understand that. I have three daughters. I homeschool. I'm self-employed. No one said keeping fit is easy. But if you are wasting time on YouTube, watching cat videos, or ruthlessly scrolling through Instagram, or spending three to four hours a day watching Game of Thrones, then you are doing things that are not actually serving you. And then saying, I don't have time. I don't have time is the biggest lie you're telling yourself. You have time. You have not made it a priority by scheduling and planning your time. And that's why you still haven't reached your weight loss goal. Number three, focus, direction, and setting realistic goals. So for some, they don't know how to focus. They don't know how to set a realistic goal. This comes from fear of the unknown. Fear that you do not have what it takes to be focused. You do not have what it takes to be disciplined. Fear that you will fail when you take the action. I know I get this a lot. People will come to me and say, God, I know I'm going to stop after a week. It always happens to me. Most times, only a coach can see what you cannot see. The opportunity of how to get you from where you are to where you want to be. All you have to do is go all in and become obsessed with your goal. Number four, knowing what to do. So the beautiful thing about having an accountability coach or using so many free tools and applications that's available for you is that they can help you find the answers you actually need. There are no more excuses on all the information that is available for you right now in almost any format you want to learn from. Number five, know-how. Can you afford not to be in good shape, not to have good health? actually not have excellent health? How much value would you put on dropping 15 kilograms off your body right now? What would that be worth to you? What would it be worth to you to run your first marathon? What would it be worth to come off all your chronic medication? To control your diabetes? To beat your depression? To overcome your, your high blood pressure? To become more confident or more creative? What's it all worth to you? You can start using your newfound energy right now to create more money to wealth for yourself. Did you know that? Why not? That is what setting a goal, becoming healthier, and sticking to an exercise program will do for you. Challenge number six, fear of the unknown. I think we are probably all terrified of starting something out of our comfort zone. But eventually, you will overcome the sick feeling and you'll be tired of being sick and tired. At some point, you will need to put your big boy or big girl pants on and step out of your comfort zone where results are found. 
Fear is your ego getting in the way of making and achieving what you want. Go and get it. Number seven, self-worth and belief. These self-sabotaging conversations and lack of self-belief won't bring any results at all. So, if you continue using them, you will never get the results you want. If you don't train your mind to turn off the negative self-talk, you won't achieve anything. You have to stop doubting yourself and start taking action. You need to master the skill of mindset shift and start building confidence in yourself. So the self-belief is more than just inflated talk. It's real life truth. Number eight, live a little. Maybe you grew up with a family and friends that made well, but every time you wanted to eat more clean, drink healthy, they told you that you're fine, that you don't need to lose weight. You should live a little. Therefore, you allowed yourself the freedom to stay within your comfort zone. The moment you start to notice whether people are helping you stay focused or not is the moment everything opens up. Discipline comes to you immediately, but it won't come if you continue to allow someone to change your set disciplined approach during your first 28 days of being on an exercise program. So get through the 28 days and then balance and then live a little. Change must always happen first. Number nine, self-sabotage. Screw normal. Fit is the new normal. Healthy is the new normal. We need to be continuously educating ourselves on how to improve physical, mental and emotional fitness. It's our duty and our obligation to improve. If you aren't always learning, then we will self-sabotage, right? When we focus on the fear of having a leaner body, a fitter looking body, we will never stop. Find ways to learn more about body transformation, healthier choices, and maintaining results while still living. And there are ways, lots of them. Allow 10% of unconscious eating for a more balanced lifestyle, but don't go back to 90% unconscious eating anything you want and only 10% conscious eating or clean eating. Number 10, connections. I'm a firm believer that who you spend the most time with inspires you to have a similar lifestyle. Building relationships or being surrounded with people who got to where you want to be will definitely help you. They will add massive value to your discipline. There are many reasons why people will find it hard to get results and transform. The fact of the matter is, all of these excuses as to why people cannot take action and create massive changes in their body, they are simply that, excuses. There are countless examples and testimonials of people of every age with a fit, unfit, fat, skinny, weak, depressed, sick, broke, rich, poor, different skin colors, who have overcome every excuse and got shit done. GSD. Is it easy? No. Learning how to master anything takes time and hard work. Especially at first when you are busy breaking old habits and establishing new ones. But you require this to get from where you are now to create momentum and results for yourself. It's your decision. Stay stuck or build your energy, build your motivation and your discipline by overcoming your biggest challenges. Which of the above challenges do you face a lot? Tag AFA Bootcamp on your Instagram story at AFA Bootcamp 
with a photo or video of this book and let us know so we can connect. Come on, no more excuses and fooling yourself. It's time to make a change in your life in order to create change and take massive action. Let's do this.